Yellowstone. Here, say that again. Hold up. Let me um, get let me get this camera set up. Uh, it's recording right now. I just trying to get it. I'm trying to I'm trying to tone this thing in. It's in there. That's good enough, ain't it? You think I should just come straight straight with it like this? <laughs> Motherfucker's gonna knock. What language you speaking? What, what? y'all speaking, man? Chinese. You Chinese? Chinese? Yeah. How long y'all been here? Uh, two years. Two years? Oh yeah. Hey, hey, how about you for just one minute? Just a minute. Let me ask you something. You here through the grapevine about America being destroyed? <laughs> he said, oh no. <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I ain't trying to hear that. Hey, right. we, we done oh. invested too much in property. They done bought all Manhattan. You know, Chinese pretty much own all Manhattan. The Jews sold all that shit, most of it. They did trying to sell uh, Chicago or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Detroit, good. Detroit, too. Detroit, That's too. Great. Yep. The whole city. The whole city, man. They gonna buy it, too, because they got the money to buy it. But then again, I read the, um, what was that? I was looking at the financial reports on, uh, I think it's CNBC, whatever the fuck you call that bullshit. Yeah. They were saying the Chinese is liquidate, they, they getting fuck up out of here too. You know? But then again, you know, there are dumb ones like them. He's been here two years and he, he's planning on prospering and shit. China's economy collapsed. That's what, what started this uh, new depression. This it started in China. It started in China. Where the fuck is my shit at? Woo! You forgot your phone? Oh, that's right. Hey, my phone still works with these gloves. How is that possible? Yeah, them Paul don't. I, 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 oh, these are jerseys. Paul gave me some gloves that works like that. Perfect. That's slick. Here. We about to get it in on your boys? Oh. Yeah, let's be. Let's be. Let's be. Let's be. I'm telling you, I forgot my SD card. I did too. I don't need it though. Some of them, a bitch. Some bitch. Some bitch got nerve. Well, I got a Bible. That's all I need. It's too cold to be touching them buttons anyway. If anybody know offhand where that scripture is, there may every man gonna go back to his own land. And it's in Isaiah. I think Isaiah. Uh, what was it? What was that Isaiah? Uh, or was that Jeremiah? I'll just do a search on it. Every man gonna go back to their own land. That wasn't Jeremiah. Uh, I'll look. That's some magnificent. If you want to get your uh, spirit of boost, that's all you got to do is turn on um, the financial news, and then you will see. Especially you turn it on early, like between, uh, like before, before five o'clock. I be watching. Uh, that's Ger beautiful, man. I listen to Gerald Salente. That's that dude. Who's that dude? Say hi. Guess what? Gerald. Oh, are you talking about Jeff Prince? Gerald Salente. You talking about the Jeff Prince shit I posted? It's like X22, something like that. X22 report. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I know about the X22 report. Who's that? I never watched it though that much. X22 is good shit. Yeah. But they stupid too. But it's yeah. still, you know how people yeah, yeah, I mean, you post know. a lot of, bring out a lot of shit, but they still stuck on stupid. Like they trying to figure out ways to save America's economy and yeah. how to, they trying to unite the people to come against the government so they can reverse everything. That's their talk. Hey, yeah, they think they're going to save America. What the fuck you going to save? This was set up as a slave plantation for the beginning. They actually had slave plantations. I'm not making that up. I mean, you go check the history. Right. I guarantee you there was slave plantations. They write that out the history books. Oh, yeah. Um, they was workers. So you ain't going to sell me on that shit, man. You ain't with that, man. You ain't buying that. Syria. Turkey started shelling. Uh, that they was uh, they was it today in the news. It said that Turkey was uh, that that was fucking up the Armenians. Yeah, yeah. Shelling, but they, yeah. They've been fighting against the Armenians for a long time. Cause a lot of I think I believe a lot of Turkish land actually belongs to the Armenians. The Armenians are a bunch of weirdos anyway. Who gives a fuck? 
A lot of them are meetings is Jake's though. Hey, watch out my camera, boy. <laughs> they probably their, their family probably helped make that motherfucker. Oh yeah. <laughs> so sick. they got they got much respect for it. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know it's a made in China. Right, right. <laughs> made by some little uh, 82 year old lady. Her she don't work her fingers to the bone like literally you can see her bones. 14 is good ass. Yeah, it is. That goes in the uh, that goes in a Lucifer. I'm just gonna start at one. For the Lord will have this is Isaiah 14 and one. For the Lord will have mercy upon on, on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel and yeah. set. All right, so that proves that the, the Lord's chosen people is the Israelites, and, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. That's talking about those Israelite foreigners that have been scattered amongst the other nations. That's why we out here teaching them to wake them up. And, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for their servants and handmaids. Oh yeah, so you're going to have uh, all the actual heathens. See, the Israelites that are scattered among the heathens, they're going to come in, they're going to wake up, find out they're Israel. And then the actual heathens, they're going to be our servants. That's right. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Right. So that goes in the same thing that Revelation 13 says, who the leaders of captivity shall go into captivity. So how, how does that apply to modern day America? Because mm. mm. this was a nation founded on slavery, right? Like we said, right from the very beginning, it, it was a pretty much slave colonies is what it was. They was putting everybody in slavery. Everybody knows about the uh, so-called black people who was put in slavery, but they don't know about, they put Indians in slavery too. And they put uh, Irish people in slavery. So this was a, America was formed as a, a corporation and the corporation called America needed free labor, slave labor. And they still use the slave labor to this day. We was talking about that camera. It was probably made by some uh, Chinese lady getting paid 25 cents an hour. Come on, that's slavery. What about everybody's Nikes on your feet? All the clothes that you wear, they're all made in sweatshops by people working in harsh working conditions making hardly no money. That's for that's pretty much forced labor. That's slavery. Oh, when it came out in the news not too long ago about some corporation got caught using slaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, I can't right. remember it's off the top of my head. Factory. The yeah. Camp Nestle. Oh, Nestle. Yeah. Got cold busted. So, people say, oh, America abolished slavery. When? Tell me when. Why do you think why do you think they, they're exporting all them jobs to other countries? That's because Americans got fed up with being, so, well, they still slaves. But it, because these, Jake ain't going to work for free. You know what I'm saying? Hell no. Hell but that's no. why they go to these other countries and they take these take these uh, people in these Pacific Islands, these Chinese people, and they pay them 25 cents an hour or less. And there's nothing they can do about it. Hey, check it out. There's a badass video just uploaded to YouTube. How, uh, the air conditioning company here in America somewhere uh, gave their uh, got all the employees together and announced that they shut down next oh, year. Oh, I've seen that. That's some bad and shit, man. And the people weren't having it either, <laughs> yeah, were they? They, they were was like, fuck you. There was, and the dude speaking was an Edomite. He, he had no care, man. He, he's, yeah, he didn't care at all, <laughs> he didn't did he? Give a fuck. And he's all telling him, calm down. <laughs> he, calm down. Dude was like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yep. was mad. Now, he's lucky he left yeah. out there with his life intact. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hell yeah. Done, man. And that was done. definitely because all them people in there, most of them was probably Jake's. Oh, uh, you know what I mean? Hell. All them motherfuckers, man. Yep. So that dude came in there just like the devil, like it was no big deal. <laughs> it's like, it's just a process we're going through. And, uh, oh, shit. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't kill his ass. I was happy to see it, though. Man. Watch, people going to start losing it. They already losing it. Mm -hmm. Especially, yep. you see that, that Oregon standoff deal they had. They, they killed Lavoie, shot him right in his goddamn head. <laughs> Lavoie's out of the game. Then they got your boy Ammon. Your boy got a Bible name, Ammon. And then they got, uh, they got Clive, Ammon's uh, dad, Clive, tried to come there to save the day. They got his ass. Got his ass, too. <laughs> then they said they got 68 other people they looking to round up. And they just assassinated the Supreme Court Judge, Scalia. 
You hear about that? Yeah, he did drop dead. Was that yesterday? Yeah, and then now, I, right before I came out here, I seen a report that it said a Texas judge ruled that there will be no autopsy. Wow. There will be no autopsy. If I'm correct, I think he was for guns. Yeah, he was. He was a I, conservative. If I'm correct, yeah. So they had it, and he's the one that said that there was going to be concentration camps again. Right, right, and he was with us for the Constitution yeah. and shit like that. Yeah, he said, don't be surprised if there will be concentration camps. <laughs> Took his ass out the game. Wasn't he Italian? Scalia, that sounds Italian, Yeah, he was probably a Jake then. You know, he could you never yeah, know, yeah, I mean. Yeah, a wicked-ass Jake. I ain't never talked to him. <laughs> He took, they took him out. He's out the fucking game. That's funny as fuck. Well, he's wicked as hell anyway, yeah, upholding man. their bullshit ass laws. For real. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from the sorrow and from the fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. Right, right here in America. That thou shall take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how hath the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the sepulcher of the ruler. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. With a continual stroke. They continually stroke your ass over here. Oh, even I seen that devil, uh, Bernie Sanders, he said, uh, nobody should work 40 hours a week and be poor. Yeah, and he's a so-called Jew. He's a devil. And he said, even the devil knows it's fucking, everybody's in slavery out here. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindered. The whole earth is at rest and quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon saying, Since thou art laid down, no fella is come up against us. Right, because these devils, they go, they chop down whole forests. They don't care about the environment or the earth whatsoever. Look, they took the whole earth and turn it a beautiful earth into concrete. Made it look like Mount Seer. Mm, mm. Just like I was weeping for that tree they cut down the street. Oh yeah, our spot. We had this spot, spot we used to yeah. chill at our after spot. we was done teaching. We used to go kick on this beautiful tree. Well, I love, I mean, it's a nice tree, probably old as hell. We used to sip wine underneath it, you know, and go hit scriptures. And the devils, they ripped that tree down just to build some ugly ass buildings. They took that shit down. Fake ass trees and yeah. houses. Yeah, I mourn the loss of that tree. But so when it, this devil goes down, these trees are going to rejoice. Every time I drive past that spot, I think about that tree. Uh -huh. Trees. Yeah, trees are alive. That's right. You got a spirit. Got you a you spirit. feel bad when your favorite tree dies or gets struck by lightning or something. You're like, damn, man, I missed that tree. Right, right. It wasn't, you know, I mean, it wasn't a strange thing that in the movie uh, The Wizard of Oz, how they had the trees alive in the movie. Oh, yeah. I think there's movies like in Harry, I think Harry uh, Potter. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, yeah. Trees are alive. They call them Ents. Yep. Um, what's the other movie? Uh, Avatar. I, I still haven't seen it. Yeah, Avatar. Everything's alive. Everything is alive. Well, that's here. Everything is alive. Yep. Yep. But the devil don't have no, he don't value life anyway, so. And have, you, have you talked to the average person about something like that? If you tell people that. You mourn the loss of a tree. They'll look at you like you're a weirdo. Right, right. Everybody knows. Just, I mean, they play music for the plants. Yep. Come on. They cast scientific studies, yeah. Scientific studies that said when you play music for plants and when you talk to them, they grow better. That's right. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even at the chief ones of the earth. They have raised up from the thrones all the kings of the nations. All they that speak and say unto thee, Are thou also become weak as we? Or thou become like unto us? Um, thy pump is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials, the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. Yeah, so they gonna be playing no more of that bullshit ass music no more. All, all this noise and all this racket, all this confusion is gonna be is gonna come to a halt. To a screeching halt. And that World War III is coming, man. You yeah, see, uh, Russia just came out and threatened World War III, yeah. Yeah, officially. That's right. When was that? That was today or yesterday? Came out with it, going in Syria. And, uh, take some, going, going, send your troops into Syria on foot. Yep. See what happens. But it's going to happen. Something's going to happen. <laughs> Something's going to happen. Personally, I still think Israel's going to kick something off. Israel or Turkey going to kick something off. Israel been dying to attack Iran forever. Yep. They got a hard They hate Iran. Yeah, they got a hard on for them. 
Um, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which did which, which didst weakens the nations? So that's talking about Esau. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the side of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yeah, because they these devils with their technology and their wisdom and knowledge, they think they above the Most High. You know what I'm saying? They can play God. They can uh, genetically modify the plants. Now they can make babies that have uh, three different fathers. They take the genes from three different yeah, men yeah. and make some uh, laboratory babies. Growing penises and yeah, pussies and gr shit. Growing pussies and dicks. That's crazy, man. And they, their last trick, they plan on shipping everybody. Putting microchips. In. Oh, I just seen a story. That's true. The microchips coming. Because I just seen a story in the news yesterday. It said by the year 2018, all airports will have biometric scanners. Ooh. Man, you can't even get on an airplane without getting either a fingerprint, a retina scan, or something. You know what I mean? Should they say by 2017, every American has to be chipped? Got to be chipped. <laughs> by 2017. Yeah, that's right around the corner. Yeah, dude. we're already three months in now. All, and you can see it too if something real major happened, a major insurrection, or something happens, a major event, they, that would be the pretext to chip everybody. Which is coming. Which is coming. I will ascend above the height of the clouds, I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. So these devils, they think they like the most high. They think they're all powerful. They got this system of total control in place. You know, you can't do shit or say nothing bad against the government. They'll lock you up, kill you, shoot you. You know what I mean? But these devils, they're going to be brought down low, man. All, the, all these uh, government officials, these bankers, they all going to be brought down low like it ain't nothing. Right. They good at trumping charges up too, huh? They, they love Trump. They... You commit one so-called crime, and they'll hit you with 20 different charges. Hit you, you be on a pile of tickets. Well, goddamn. <laughs> and, and most of the people in jail didn't even cause nobody no harm. Cause you know the law used to be no victim, no crime. Yeah, it used to be. No victim, no crime. They, most people who are in prison are in there because. They, there was no victim and no, and no property damaged. I literally ain't heard that in years. They, they violated some kind of bullshit regulation and they got locked up. You know what I mean? Yeah, like like most people, you go to the courthouse, the courthouse would be packed. There'd be a thousand people in the courthouse and the government making them all feel like they're criminals. They all up in there for parking tickets, traffic tickets, some bullshit. they just going up in your pockets taking all your shit, man. That revolving door continuously spinning. And it is literally a revolving door. Yeah. <laughs> it's a revolving door. It sure the fuck is. It's not a regular door. <laughs> they can't have a regular door. There's it's too many people. There's got to be a revolving door. It's you gotta they go down they there pack them in. Yeah, you gotta go down there and just just to see. I was just in there. You, you know, they they packed up in there like sardines. Yep, yep. And they tell you you gotta be at court at nine. Good luck. And these four got multiple courtrooms. Yeah, courtrooms and multiple. And you go up in there in the courtroom, be old ladies, <laughs> women, <laughs> just nerd nerds, <laughs> cute you know cute women. <laughs> it just, not not a criminal in sight. You so know what I'm saying? But they all made them feel like they're criminals. That's why they got police checkpoints. You be driving down the street, be random checkpoints. You're like, let me see your ID. Let me see your papers. That shit they did back in the Soviet Union. And they want to talk about America's a great nation. Land of the free. Man, you out your fucking mind if you believe that Land shit. Land of the free. We're fighting for your fucking freedom. Land of the free, but, uh... Just be careful driving, because you might go to jail, get shot, and get robbed <laughs> by the cops. Land of the free. That's what the cops. That's all the cops do. Is they 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 they're gonna do one of three things to you. They're gonna rob you, beat the shit out of you, or kill you. That's right. Um. Yeah, this is terrible. It's this not is terrible. If you use it. I don't know if it's gonna help. They that see thee. Okay shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying 
Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? Right. Is this the man? I mean, just look at look at these politicians. They're a bunch of weak, feeble bitches. Look at John Kerry and his weird ass. Look at Barack Obama and his big, ass. pale, crusty, ashy, faggot ass. Faggot ass. Oh, malnutrition. Look Fucking at fat. look at the uh. Yeah, it looked like he'd been guzzling sperm, right. sniffing coke, smoking crack. I mean, look at the politicians are all weaklings. Look at Harry Reid. He's a weakling. And these people rule over us. Look look at the bankers. The Rob, You ever see Evelyn Rothschild talk? Oh, my goodness. A weakling. Yeah, a fucking yeah. weakling. A, a limp-wristed fucking weakling. Prince Charles like a power Prince, bone. Yeah, Prince Charles. He's rolling over you. Look, at, he's, he's, he's a, a weak bitch. The queen and shit. The queen's probably stronger than him. She could yeah, beat him probably, in an arm wrestling match. They benching and shit. She yeah. Out he do you know, look she dead. Probably, she probably slaps the shit out of him. Yeah, he do. He, they look dead, man. But most high preserving them motherfuckers. Yeah, they getting preserved, all right. They getting preserved. They're going to be the first batch of slaves, man. So we got some weak... How, that, you know, that's only the most high can make something like that happen. Mm -hmm. That's how you know God's got to exist, because how else could some weak-ass people rule over us? Yep. And yep. we're way stronger than them. Yep. Yep. We're savages compared to them. What are they in their 90s? Yeah, just, they should have been dead, man. Really? Motherfucker should have been dead. Well, your boy, uh, uh, David Rockefeller is on. Look at him. He's another weakling. Yep. Just, just not, no, just, because what their strength is psychology and their, their, their mind. Well, oh, I was about to say, that's a, yeah, Rockefeller is on his, like, fifth heart. God damn, for real? Yeah, he's got, oh, like, he don't have, like, five hearts. He's been preserved, then. They got to go in slavery. <laughs> How does he get five hearts? <laughs> the fuck? Shit, man, he probably got the best ones, too. He probably had people the killed shit. to get them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made sure they was healthy. Healthy motherfucker. You yeah. know, he didn't get put on no waiting list. <laughs> you know how you get on a waiting list? Yeah, no, they probably got a harvest of motherfuckers. Yeah, he got a harvest. Around growing. Yep. Eating and running and exercising and I went that, that one. Yep, because what do you think? Why do you think you always have people uh, being found in a bathtub? At, they go to the bar, someone <laughs> slips something in their drink, they wake up, passed out in the bathtub full of ice and their kidneys missing. <laughs> That's some funny shit. There's a movie on that too. Yep. Yeah, that's real. That shit really happened. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna put that shit in the movies just for their imagination. That, um, that did shake kingdoms, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of the prisoners, all the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his own house. Right, like this, America has more prisons than the rest of the world combined. Why are so many people in prison? And like I said before, most people in prison didn't even hurt nobody. What, what most of them is in there for drug charges or some dumb shit, you know what I mean? They, they, or they, they didn't pay child support. Oh shit, I forgot about that one. Don't pay child support, you get a prison sentence. Kind of madness is that? Right. What are the what's the logic behind that shit? You can't pay child support locked up behind bars, and then you get out of prison, you still gotta pay that shit. And, then, and most of the prisons are private owned corporations that you're getting free slave labor. Yeah, Michael oh, Jordan lost contributor to that shit. Yeah, but there's no slavery in America. No even though slavery. In the oppressive license plates. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, but thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as the remnant of those that are slain, thrust through with the sword, that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass trodden underfoot. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Yeah, it ain't gonna be, when the Lord returns, ain't gonna be no cities like this no more. The cities in the kingdom ain't gonna look like this. You know what I'm saying? This right here is a hell hole. Yeah, feels like it too. It does feel like it. It smells like it too. Right. It's just, it smells like swine's flesh out here. I, I smell anal sex. Yeah. That's what it smells like. Nasty motherfuckers. Come on, fuck the Go ahead. Yeah. Deuteronomy 32. 
in uh in 2023 i will heat mischiefs upon them i will spend my arrows upon them they shall be burnt with with hunger and devoured in wait a minute Who you and, uh, Deuteronomy 32 and burning heat and with bitter destruction and I will also send the teeth of beast upon them Ooh. and the poison of the of, uh, serpent of oh, the dust. Let me get my Bible back out. <laughs> For Yahweh shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants. When he seeketh, when he seeth the snow, man, that their damn. power is gone, and there is none shut up or left, and he will say, Where are their gods, their rock in whom they trusted? Where did the fat of their sacrifices and drink of the wine of their drink offerings? Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. Bunch of devil a bunch of witches and devil worshippers and shit that have faith in that shit. Cause they been getting well favors from that shit, man. Being wicked as a motherfucker in this world. Well, you gotta be a faggot to begin with. You, know? you said they got, you know, Marco Rubio, right? The dude run for president, senator. Right. They came out with videos of him at homosexual parties. He's up in the uh, get down, huh? up in the swimming pool. Which is, it's like uh, just faggots. They're all butt naked, just right. swimming right. together. Right. Ain't no shame in that game. Nope. Ain't no shame in that game. And he's the one out there trying to pretend like he's a great Christian. It's all a lie, man. Right, right. They know, you know, most people claim to be Christians or whatever. I don't know if that's true. But they got they got to lie to the people and make the people believe them. And these people believe these politicians. Yeah, eat it up. Eat they it eat up. it up, yep, man. Yep. Bunch of fucking faggots. Fucking faggots, man. But you know, a lot of people are getting fed up with these politicians, though, actually. I believe they said Congress had a 15% approval rating. God, that's awful. <laughs> that's awful. Well, That's big talk how they talk about the, the government's body. just too fucking big, man. Look at that ass. <laughs> yeah, fuck the government. Why you even need a government? Right, it's just too goddamn big. I'd rather have no government than have this shit. You know, for real. I can take care of my goddamn self. A lot better than what these devils can offer. I, have you ever called the cops to come save you before? Once in your life. Not one time. Never. Never will. Either. Never. And never will. Why well, I'm gonna call the cops? They're gonna come arrest me, uh, lock me up for right, nothing. Right, right. You stare them at them wrong, and you, they, you're dead. Yeah, you call the cops, they run a 50 on you. <laughs> That's what happened. My, uh, remember that dude, uh, you remember Kevin? He used to come out with us. Right, Kevin, the right. uh, blonde hair dude. Go ahead. He was over there at Fairgate. The next door neighbor shot him. He got shot through the wall. Through the wall. The bullet came through the wall, shot his ass. So they called the cops because he's bleeding. The cops come, the fucker put handcuffs on him and throw him in the fucking cop car. Like he did something wrong, he got shot. So even if you get shot, it's not a good idea to call the cops. Don't call the cops. You better just suck that bullet wound up. What they do in the Western times? Pour some own. whiskey on it? Yeah, yeah, stitch it up. <laughs> yeah. Stitch it up. Pour some whiskey on it. Yeah. What's, up, guys? What's up, man? Yeah, hell yeah, Rambo. I'm a, I, I'm never calling the cops. Never, man. Never. Because that, that means instant death. Never, man. <laughs> so They're going to they beat the shit out of you, lock you up, or shoot hell you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to using my special bat, man. I want to buy me a new bat. I love my bats. I got a couple bats. For real, man. I got some softball bats. Hell yeah. And a baseball bat. You hear somebody with one of them motherfuckers. Are the aluminum up, ones or wood? Or? I, got, I like the aluminum. Yeah. That wood, that wood <laughs> yeah. I hit too hard. That wood will break. Yeah, you hit with that aluminum. All you're going to hear is ding! <laughs> right, right, right. Hit him in the skull? Yep, yep. <laughs> yep, and it's going to rattle their brain, man. They're going to just drop. Yeah, we don't want to hurt nobody, though. Right. But we got, you know, to protect yourself. You know what I mean? If someone tries to attack us, shit. <laughs> oh, go ahead. I'm here, man. My hands are frozen. It is frozen. Man. They really are, man. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, Ooh. I wound and I heal. Neither is any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I whip my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemy. That should get, that should get wet up here. That sounds a lot like uh, Samuel too. 
car somewhere in Sandy. Oh, it sure does, don't, don't it? Don't yeah? yeah. It sure do. First Sandy. That's what I'm thinking about, first Sandy. Yep, we just bring that out all the time. And I will, and I will reward them that hate me. I will make my arrows drunk with blood. Ooh, drunk that's, with blood. In a modern day blood. arrow too, that's the missiles. Go ahead. I will make my arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh. And that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of the, uh, revenge upon the enemy. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants, and will render vengeance to his adversaries, and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. Yeah, out making rap albums ain't no motherfucking servant of the Lord. Rap videos and shit, you know. I ain't talking about Mashar Yasharaba. Yeah, Robert. that ain't that ain't they ain't a servant of the Lord. Nah, that ain't. That's some fucking faggot shit. Yeah, that's some foolishness, man. That raps was weak too, man. Fucking buffoonery. If you think that you're gonna rap, at least yeah, you have some skills. Don't make an ass out of yourself. Straight up buffoonery, man. Yeah. And they gonna taste that arrow too. They all every motherfucking body that was posted up in that. In that parking lot. And that, rap, that rap shit is played out too, man. That shit was played out 10 years ago. That shit is awful, man. It you is see awful. How they, and one motherfucker was throwing up uh, fucking Greek signs, and another motherfucker was throwing up gang signs. Yeah, they was throwing up signs, wasn't they? Mm -hmm. Well, it looked like it. Hey, this is some pure wickedness. The pure fuck? foolishness, man. Pure foolishness. Man, I can't even hold my damn coffee. This is ridiculous. I got a precept on what we was just talking about. Talk this is the only way we're going to get out of here, man, by coming out all season. All year long, man. It's the only way we're going to get the fuck up out of here. I, yeah, I didn't send you, you a text today. Be like, oh, it's too cold today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's get in the basement. We, we, we can get take get one week off. It ain't going to be all right. Right, right, right. Nah. Mm -hmm. We got we to gotta put that vibration out. And that's the only way shit going to happen in the world, but put that vibration out. Get the spirits going and shit. Shit. Yeah, because the most powerful weapon is his word. Mm -hmm. Like like them fools of uh, Mashar Yasharala. Uh, they think they forming an army. They's all standing in a formation. <laughs> the, their leader had a shepherd staff. <laughs> they like lead sheep to the slaughter. <laughs> gonna be an army. I ain't going to be an army, but you can't even stand in the cold for Hour. Exactly. Oh, that's exactly. a good point. Good fucking prostitutes point. be standing in the cold. Yeah. Oh, good we, we see prostitutes. On, yeah, we see prostitutes on the way up here. They was getting it on the corner. <laughs> yeah, hoses out. <laughs> the hoses, man. She, she ain't taking no day off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, the Lord said a prostitute will make it into the kingdom before you fools. Yeah, that's right. right there. He's standing out in the cold. Yeah, yeah, we got this faggots out here. They in the cold, transvestites in the cold. They more manly than you faggots. <laughs> I ain't thinking about working, man. Uh, they they busy bodies. They too busy kicking. What is it? Uh, scripture talking about uh, uh, the food. I mean, the slugger don't plow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lazy motherfuckers. Hey, man. Sluggard. Out, they out partying instead, doing their thing, man. Being the, uh, in the house of mirth. And that one dude that was in that, that uh, Mashar Yashrala video rapping, we talked to him. He was out here. And we know those guys. We know the head dude that was reading on that. Who was that guy's name with the shepherd staff? Uh, I can't remember his name. The guy that was reading for him was Peraza. He's from Columbus. We know him. I was in his church. Now, Peraza, if he came up here, he's going to try to be nice to me. <laughs> one day, he gave me a ride home. So, it's, you know, he was trying to be nice. He's always trying to be nice. He wants me to get me in his you. church. Even though Esau, even though according to their doctrine, Esau's an Edomite. But that means they want Edomites in their camp. And That's Esau right. can be saved, right? That's right? So they're teaching Esau can be saved. Because he wants me in his school. I well, know that guy. So like to the elders of GMS and all you brothers in GMS, that, that main reader, do y'all see with Mashar Yasharala? That's Peraza. I know him. We cursed, what, what about five, six years ago? Yeah, yeah. We cursed the whole camp, their whole, I don't want to call them a camp, their I, whole. Yeah, yeah. I cussed his ass on the videos out a few months ago. Their whole months. gang. We told them all they's gonna eat missiles. And they are. And I told them exactly. So we know that guy. And uh, they ain't right, man. Rats. 
Huh? Crazy. You said last dude at rats, wasn't that him? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that one guy, he he had the spirit of Peraza on him. He looked like he'd been brainwashed by Peraza. So the last one, that the last rapper was the one that was on here? I'm pretty sure. Okay, I gotta watch it again. I mean, it had to be. It looked just like him. Yeah. Right. Unless he got a uh, look alike, a, a, a doppelganger. Had to be him. He told me he was a rapper. Oh, did he say he's a rapper? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? And, and, you, and you could tell he didn't have his own mind. That dude, man. His mind is controlled by somebody else, yeah. not him. Yep, yep. Well, even though the most high controls us all, but you got people out here who brainwash people and indoctrinate them into their bullshit. Like, like the scriptures say how they control men. You know what I'm saying? That's all through the all through the gospel how people are gonna try to control you. You didn't want that loop. Oh yeah, you know where that's at? Yeah. The lowest room. Cause the bottom line is those dudes in that Mashar Yasharala deal. I got the wrong gloves. They just trying to control men. They want to sit in that seat of power and they want you to do what they say. Con, 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 con! <laughs> Well, you know some Hebrew, bro. Congratulations. Come on, come on, come on. Keep doing good. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. Oh, shit. Know some Hebrew. Khan, Salam. What else y'all know? Yasha'ala. Can you count to 10? Yeah, yeah, they yeah, abusing the hell out of Yasha'ala, man. <laughs> they abusing the hell out of them, man. Straight. I know, I know Peraza knows some Hebrew, though. Peraza don't fuck around. Peraza, he made a whole video speaking of ancient Hebrew. So I know he Wait, knows some Hebrew. He didn't have an interpreter? No. Didn't, no nobody even understand what the hell he was saying. That was awesome vain nah, shit. Nah, Peraza knows it. I ain't gonna... That I'll was give, some vain shit. I'll give you that, though. You, but you can know all the Hebrew you want, bro. That was some vain shit, bro. You can know all the Hebrew you want, Ock. <laughs> they ain't gonna get your ass saved. <laughs> they ain't gonna get you saved. The scribes and Pharisees, they were experts in Hebrew. Yeah, sure fuck well. They was, you know what I'm saying? They knew the Torah inside and out like it wasn't nothing. <laughs> teach about your yeah, exactly. They want to teach about your house side. They should have joined the house side. This is Luke 14 and uh, 7. And he put forth a parable to those which were hidden. Uh, when he marked, when he marked how they chose off, out the. Oh, hold on, hold on, one second, real quick. Peraza, what was that hat you was wearing, bro? This. You know. Yeah, it looked like you wearing a fez or something. Are you a Muslim now? Cause, come on, man. Y'all look retarded, all right? You can't be wearing shit like that, man. Oh, you can no, wear it all day. We ain't gonna wear no funny ass shit like that. We wear some sackcloth, but we ain't wearing that. Y'all look, you, you look like that dude off of uh, CB4 with Chris Rock. I'm blacking and blacking on black, y'all. I'm black, y'all. Blacking and black. I'm picking it black. They did look foolish, bro. Assholes. <laughs> Stupid. They look awesome, uh, clean and shit. This is sackcloth morning. All the motherfuckers have fucking fly ass. And they on. probably pay some good money for that too. Yeah, Where they yeah. get that money? Yeah, yeah. That means they doing good in Esau's kingdom. Yeah. I guess y'all ain't under the curses. Go ahead. Luke 14 is uh, eight. When thou art hidden, I mean, when thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room. These stay more honorable man that thou be hidden, I mean, be bidden of him. And he that bade the, thee and him come and say to thee, give this man place, and thou begin with shame to take the lowest room. Mm -hmm. But when thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room, and when he that bade thee cometh, he, uh, he may say unto thee, friend, go up higher, then shall then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that sit at meat with thee. For whosoever exalted himself shall be abased. Whoever exalted himself shall be abased. You were talking about, this is the order, this is the government. I'm in charge, you're going to listen to me. I'm the commanding general, Johanna. All this other bullshit you're talking about. Okay, read that again. And they are called referring to themselves as the governing body. They said that governing body. Yeah, That's some Esau yeah. language for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, whosoever exalted himself shall be abased. Oh, they throw out they throw out stairs and nets to catch men. Throw catch men with nets. That's what they did. All them fools in that uh, they got them standing in a formation. You see all them dudes in that formation. You see that blank look in their eyes, like they was just there was nothing there. Yeah. That's them fools. They took that net and they caught them retards and they brought all the retards in. Yeah, that 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 rap is another net. 
Yo, that rap is a big net. Yeah, that's a net. I don't know how, because that shit was garbage. Oh, no, nah, these fools is in darkness, so they like that they, shit. They've got us to like it. Yeah, they love that shit, man. See, turn sure. that shit on, they get up and start celebrating. Shit is Fucking horrible. rap, man. What the fuck wrong with them people, man? Like I said, rap music died a long time ago. Long time ago. That shit got, that shit's been dead. Go ahead, read that again. Whosoever exalted himself shall be abased. And he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Humble, that's right. Ain't then, no motherfuckers humble. Then said he also to them that bade him, bade him, when thou makest a dinner or a supper, call not thy friend, nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen, nor thy rich neighbors, these they also bid thee again, and a recompense be made thee. And when thou makest a feast, call the poor, and made, the lame, the blind, and thou shalt be blessed. That's like the scripture says, seek out people that are like thee. Just, like, just like that, that did thing with the prostitutes. That's right. The prostitutes have more honor than them. Yeah. You people know that mean? are mourning, people that are signing and that are crying. Yeah, they sign and crying. You know, you know a prostitute signs, she don't want to be doing it. Well, a lot of them probably do. You, that's right. But that's you know, right. but a lot of them don't. A lot, a lot of them don't. don't. They yeah. don't want to be doing that. That's they right. hate their life. They probably think yeah. about killing themselves. I'm telling you, some of the best conversations I had was with crackheads. Yeah, prostitute, right? drug addicts. Yeah. Drug addicts would be some of the most down to earth people you meet. Damn right. Because they Damn taking right. them drugs because they trying to escape. And they ain't got no truth and knowledge to hold them down. Right. So they got to get, get high as shit. Oh, yeah. That's the best way to deal with oppression. That's right. High. You know what I mean? That's right. And you know, people like that will look down upon somebody like that. When they see the poor and the weak, they'll spit at them. Look, I'm better than you. I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a commanding general. <laughs> you know when they cause it's full of all kind of dead bones and Oh, shit. skeletons, yeah. Skeletons. That's skeletons. where you get that, skeletons. Dead bones, yep. dead men's bones. They got all kind. Of, everybody's got them uh, skeletons up in their closet. Holy, you got these holier-than-thou motherfuckers out here. Think they keeping the law perfect. They out there fucking minds. They're a bunch of adulterers and adulteresses. That's what they are. Exactly. That's exactly what you are. Exactly. And that's straight from the Bible. That's what the Lord called Job. A generation of adult we're adulterers too, but we bow down to the Lord. Yeah. We're washing our hands of our bad iniquity. Exactly. Yeah. They're they weirdos. How you gonna see pronounce your name? Whatever. They had that dude, that girl, she was dancing and shit, that blue wife. Yeah. Yeah. Playing music, she was dancing in front of her Oh, like, gyrating. Yeah, and dude's like, Ooh. yeah. You know you they were looking that? at her. You know they yeah. was looking at her ass and shit. Stupid, man. Just when stupid. I went to hold on. When we went to Peraza's church, they had women all up in the. Uh, they was having a study, and that's one of the things that really made me be like, for real. I like, I can't join forces with this guy, man. They had women all up in their congregation during Bible study. I mean, I, you know, and they look good and stuff, and you over trying to learn. You got some fine women and all. Just you can't do that, man. That's yeah. off. Because right, right. I don't, I don't care if you got a woman. People's gonna look at her. In one video, he got up. He got babies and shit crying in the back. Fucking badass. Babies and shit crying in the back. And then to get the kids to be quiet, he make them watch some Disney cartoons. I seen it. Watching my kids ain't allowed to watch Disney. They won't even. They refuse to watch it because they. I make them watch all the videos on YouTube showing all the Illuminati symbolism in the Disney cartoons, and they they go tell their little friends about it. Like you see the little mer, mer, mermaid with the penises in it. Yeah, all them, that's crazy how they do that shit. My sons know about it. Cause they watch videos on YouTube about Lion it. King and shit. Goofy's hat's a fucking dick. Goofy's hat's a dick? Yeah, like the cartoon, like the old cartoon. Yeah. I think it's a new cartoon, but he looks like a dick. And then, uh, what else? They got this giant smoking and shit. Like, he was like rolling shit up, like he was rolling up a blunt. Wow. He was smoking. He was oh, hating. Well, you got that one Mickey Mouse cartoon. Mickey Mouse was uh, making Swiss cheese in a cheese factory. He put putting holes in the cheese with his dick. God. Man, it, it Illuminati symbolism is, is goes on for days in cartoons, oh, my especially in Disney cartoons. Wait, he didn't even say that on the side part. That's what I like. So he said, "You selling uh, 
uh, sex to your kids. The Christians are so fucking stupid. And yeah. the Christians think Disney's wholesome, wholesome family fun. Yeah, they showed uh, Jonah Brothers jizz, jizz on the kids and shit. Only shit my children watch is that Japanese shit. Even a lot of that shit's off too, though. It's not as bad as the American cartoons, though. Shit, they kiss on that shit. Japanese? Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure they do. I don't know. Yeah, they, they're weird in Japan about stuff like that. Like in Japan's porno, they blur everything out. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a sex, I've only seen one sex uh, scene in a Japanese or Chinese. That's good. They make good movies too. Man, I watch the anime, the you know. South America, South, uh, South Korea, they make good oh, movies, Yes, man. Korea's got, that's why your dude Kim Jong uh, Il, Abducted that director from South Korea right, to right. make that movie for him. Yeah. He kidnapped him. They actually make good ass movies, yeah. man. Because people, you know, lazy ass motherfuckers don't watch them because they got the subtitles. You gotta yeah. read, you know. Because American cinema is done. Yeah. yeah. There's no, there's no more good movies in America. It's just, it's a wrap. It's all filth. They made the baddest motherfucking virus movie. I just watched it last week, man. South Korea made a movie called Virus. That should keep. And they locked the whole. Oh, shit. The troops came in. The movie was bad as fuck, man. Definitely. Um, this one, um, uh, this one, uh, this, some, I don't even remember the Toon Channel, Toon, Toon Movies, yeah. something like that, man. Is that a website or? It's a website, it's a website. Yep, it's a website. I don't really watch nothing no more, man. Terminator. Hey, I'll tell you what, uh, Deadpool's out, I'm going to see that motherfucker. I heard there's all kind of foul shit in that movie. Yeah, fag, a lot of faggot shit. A whole lot of faggot shit. Whole lot of faggot shit to yeah. do, man. Sounds good. Plus, the dude that's playing is a big faggot. The either. original Deadpool wasn't no fucking freak like that. I, I remember when Deadpool first came out in the New Mutants comic books. I just grew up a comic book nerd. Ah, he, created by Rob Liefeld. I know what's going on. Shit, Fuck uh, do that shit for me. I knew that was gonna happen. Though. It was gonna be a lot all, of fag shit. All, everything is now. You can't get away from it. Anything that's coming out of America is gonna be some faggot shit. I I just now got interested. Is this all made? The so-called Jews, the one that makes all these movies and cart and shit. What are you interested in? What? I just got interested in uh, The Walking Dead. And they show them tonight. It starts tonight. Does it start tonight? I forgot it's all about it. Just kissing that, that fat bitch. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I knew yeah. it was coming because she, well, she was looking at her and shit, and she went in there and she kissed her. Fat ass. Oh, that little dick girl, man, that's messed up. Fear the Walking Dead started too. All that shit, man. They had some adultery all up in that. Your dude, uh, what's his name? The main character was Rick Grimes. Kick, yeah, Rick Grimes killed the bitch's white uh, husband. Oh man! Killed, oh, killed man. the bitch's husband. Beat him up. Yeah, man, that's just some oh, adultery. Man. So everything that they put out, it, it's all full of adultery, yeah. faggot shit, anti. Morals. No more. No more. a bunch of antichrist garbage. Yeah. Because even in that, uh, the TV show Walking Dead, they show you how, oh, God doesn't exist because how could, else would this happen? And they showed you how the preacher, he, he had no faith. And it, it's all just, it, it's all kind of the agenda behind it, man. And these people eat that shit up. But I like watching Walking Dead just because. It gives you a little vision. You get a little vision. A little vision was coming. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That is beautiful. Collapse of society. Yep, yep, yep. So, you know. You gotta take what you can get. I notice absolutely no society. <laughs> yeah, none. That, that looks like fun times to me. That's the young anarchy. To these people, that's you no know, hell on earth. To me, that's paradise. Yep. Shit, You're right. You're that's right. freedom right there. That's right. And I will do just fine. I keep noticing that it's always like some niggas always. They always bitching out with the women. They don't, I don't think I ever yeah, they always get. They put that in the movies. Yeah. yeah that's they always, the women's always the strong-willed character, right. swinging baseball bats, knocking heads off. A woman's not strong enough to knock off a head. More logic. She needs more logic. Yeah, she said a woman's smarter, her plans, her ideas are better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's a walking dead for you. Well, that's, that's all movies in general these days. Yeah. They got a woman hero in every movie now. Z Nation, the same thing. The black woman, Bernie like White's wife. Like Madness. She's the leader. Madness. Yeah. Madness. She's Jeez. actually the leader. Non-tribal motherfuckers, man. Look at that shit, man. Look at that shit. People think they can just drive normal in this shit, man. Just flying. That was down the freeway. I started honking my horn at people behind me. Right. Look, you're, you're, They're riding right on your ass in the, yeah, in the right, ice. Yeah, right, right, right. You got to slow down to go way slow. Give them the message. 
stupid yeah. motherfucker. They think because they got four wheel drive, they can drive normal. You still got to slow that motherfucking vehicle down. These stupid. people, they don't know how to keep distance either. You stupid. Know? People are dumb. Stupid, man. Well, you you got to take an anti-anxiety right medicine just to drive, man. <laughs> shit. Plus, plus, shit, I think everybody, most people driving around their medicine. <laughs> they on the same <laughs> shit. Right, right. <laughs> They want to come. They got oxycotons. Yeah, they don't yeah. sniff a couple of oxys. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever other legal shit they done obtain to the hood. Whatever, nah, whatever. Driving. <laughs> driving is fucking scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. got. I pray the whole time I'm driving. I'm developing an anxiety driving. It is. It if, if it's bad enough, you got to worry about some dumb bitch slamming into you. Bam! You got to worry about the fucking cops surfing Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bitches posting selfies while they driving in the yeah, snow. Yeah. <laughs> bitch, that's why y'all here. You, you drive down the street, you see a bitch stuck in a ditch. I ain't helping. Hey, yeah, some cap and save a, save a hoe gonna stop by and try to save her. Thinking he gonna get some. Stupid motherfuckers. Stupid motherfuckers. Yeah, Damn, man, none of them wear the wrong gloves. They want the wind blowing, man. When cars like these, these be safe. Put them in your armpits. That's what I'm trying to do. They in there. Get put them in there. Put them in your pants. Put them in your pockets. Put them in your nuts. Damn, I wish it was like... Blowing in the other direction. Like, right in my face and shit. I always get back on your you boys. You know what's bugged out, man. Next week it's going to be down near 50 degrees. Yeah, That's crazy, man. Yeah, I had a dream last night that I went outside. It was like summertime. There was no snow. It was... The grass was green. Hey, because last week we had a dandelions growing in our backyard. Oh, shit. I'm not making that up. For had, real? I should have took a picture. Oh, wow. We had dandelions growing in our backyard. This shit is confused, they, huh? Yeah, it was confused. The birds are confused. That's terrible, man. You got birds. I see you. They don't even know if they should go south or not. Mm -hmm. well, they come, still here. Right, well, Usually back. this time of year, you don't see nothing but crows. You know what I mean? So everything's all out of whack. Hopefully that may that could be a good sign that Yeah, Passover's coming because that's 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 spring right there. Yeah. That's spring right there. But the calendar's all off anyway. The whole everything's out of course. The whole earth's out of course. These fucking faggot dads eat them mites and fucked everything up. Fucked everything up. Hey, I wanna get a scripture. Let's get back on your boys that uh What's some dudes called? The Shari Yashawala? The House of Soul. What did it call? Huh? The House the ho of Soul. Oh, the House of Soul. <laughs> That's what I call it. I got a scripture for them. Because they said they're building an army. And this goes out to anybody out there. What did you about to get? Um, hold on, I got to read it first. You can get that scripture that weapons of our warfare is not carnal. And the most powerful weapon we got. It's not our fists or weapons, not guns. It's the Holy Spirit. It's His truth. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't going to take up arms against this government, against this beast. And the Lord ain't called a beast for nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's a beast. You ain't going to take arms up against a beast to be victorious. You know what I'm saying? They got bulletproof vests. They can stop your bullets. They got armored. They got, they got, uh, they got armored. Armored tanks, they got uh, armored vehicles that they, they will block all your bullets. Laser machines. They got drones, but they guess what? Sound machines that'll tear your body apart. But the bullets we shooting with this Bible, the, the Holy Spirit bullet, is sharper than any two edged sword. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I'm shooting, mil I'm shooting thousand millimeter scriptures. Exactly. It's fat, like Superman, it's faster than a speeding bullet. <laughs> These bullets right here will pierce straight through that armor. The armor ain't, the Kevlar is not stopping these bullets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Interdimensional bullets. Because you need a rocket launcher to even to even think about taking out a tank, or you need a special <laughs> airplane. You can't stop a tank. Yeah. I, bet, I bet you this truth will stop the driver of that tank. Damn. It will go right inside his mind and in his spirit. I bet. No motherfuckers use them, shooting them bullets that have depleted uranium. Yeah, depleted uranium. That's them, that's them armor piercing bullets, the tank piercing bullets. That's that depleted uranium. It's hard as fuck. You see what happened to the Bundys? They had their little militia groups and everything. They had weapons. They was armed to the teeth. Pfft, yeah, how the, far did that get them? Yeah, the miniature military. How, how far did they get? Now they all in jail. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? Wait, where your boy Alex Jones though? Who, oh, who inspired him? Oh no, Alex. Yeah, Alex inspired him, and now he. Oh, I need to support that. Uh, <laughs> he's a big faggot. Yeah, he actually inspired them motherfuckers. Got them all fired up. He did his job. He did a good job then. I, you knew he was full of shit after he stopped supporting him. <laughs> I saw it coming. I seen it coming too. That dude's a coward. Here you go. This is First Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, three and ten. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any would not work, neither should he eat. Oh yes, yeah, people who don't want to go teaching the code. Um, that's what I'm referring or to. Or teach the, it all. The rap stars now. The new rap oh, stars. Oh yeah. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busy bodies. Busy making videos, rap videos. Um, now them that are such, we command and exhort by our Lord Yahweh Shai, the Mashiach, that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. But ye, brethren, be not weary and well-doing, and if any man obey not our word by this epistle, Note that man and have no co company with him that he may be ashamed. Yeah, whatever, garbage. Ain't, uh, ain't none of them dudes out there teaching. You know what I'm saying? And if they are out there teaching, they're teaching bullshit. Teaching people that Cornelius is a is an Edomite. Follow the law. Follow, uh, yeah, yeah. Follow the law. Talking about the law when they're not following the Follow law. Follow the law. They're telling you to do something they're not even doing. Right, exactly. The scriptures, what's the scripture say? Uh, do as they say, but not do as they do. Oh, but no, but if you listen to them, they keep it perfect. That's right. They yep, keep yep, it perfect, yep. you bunch of adulterers. Yep. All of y'all living in adultery. I guarantee you, every last one of their women has already had sex with uh, a, a multitude before they got Multitudes and multitudes. A multitude and multitude. multitude. <laughs> More than the stars of heaven and the sands of the sea. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, that's Israel, because there's plenty of Israelites out there. That Because Israel's the biggest adulterer on the planet. He gonna crash right there. We're gonna see a wreck out here. We don't almost see. Look at this fool. See somebody get hit. This dumbass. Look, just flying, man. They got their new shit. Think this shit just gonna stop automatic. Stupid man. And they crash into a telephone pole. And it's been proven these new tires they make the they so called bad nice tires that cost a mint. Them yeah. motherfuckers is even just as bad, man. Man, you and the ice ain't nothing gonna help you. You better get some chain tires. Hell yeah. Well, get a tank. <laughs> a tank. What that what they call what's what a tank roll on? Uh, the tracks. The tracks, yeah. yeah. Shit. Oh yeah, but that's what the Russians e got. Esau got tanks. Yeah, but you got your dudes uh, over there with the uh, Paraz and them. They trying to build a uh, army. So y'all saying y'all's an army? The Most High is gonna hold you to your word. That's right. You gonna have to fight. J just like your boy Lavoy Finnicum said, he ain't leaving. A, he's he ain't leaving out. They gonna have to kill him to get him out of there. <laughs> the Most High held him to his held word. To his word. So when you say that you're an army, the Most High is gonna hold you to your word. He's gonna give you that fight that you want. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's you won't right. get it. Niggas out there front, man. They out there front. I'm telling you, the most front. high is not nothing to fuck with. You don't want to be taken. You don't provoke the most high. Yeah, you don't high. provoke the most high, man. You, We said by your words, you'd be justified or condemned. That's right. So y'all want to be claimed to be an army? Okay. <laughs> Bet the FBI is going to treat you as an army, just like they treated them, uh, the militia. They got Project Megiddo and. Uh, Project Megiddo. <laughs> Project, Project Megiddo deems. Even we're terrorists and we're nonviolent. Yep, yep. Maybe, who was all under the, uh, the list in Project Megiddo? Was Hebrew Israelites, Doomsday Christians, mm -hmm. you yep, know what I mean? Yep. Militias. There's a whole list of them. Yep. Yep. Yeah, black, white supremacists. The black Hebrew Israelites. Oh, the black Hebrew Israelites. We don't call ourselves black Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, that's the retarded. black Hebrew Israelites. We are the black Hebrew Israelites. The black Hebrew Israelites. That's some new shit. I'm just light skinned. That's some new shit. <laughs> Brother, uh, you made a, a good point. Uh, comments. He said, uh, before you make a fire, you know what I'm saying, you bundle all the sticks together. And then you put all the sticks together to make a fire. So that's what that's, that's what the Lord is doing with the uh, other camps. They're putting all together. You bundle all the sticks together. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. true. Yeah, you yeah. gather them up. That's like in, what, a John 15? Yeah. Yeah. Take them all, burnt, throw them in the fire. 
uh, Sirac 21 and 9. At, oh, right before you, well, go ahead and read that first. I got a point. The, okay. con the congregation of the wicked is like towel wrapped together. Sorry. And the end of them is and the end of them is a flame of fire to destroy them. Mm. That's right, that's right. The, the flame to destroy them. So that's what's coming, man, is destruction. Cause show me in the, in the New Testament when the Lord came and said, okay, all you 12 apostles, go out there, go get people, we're going to form an army up, and we're going to go with arms, and we're going to take down the Romans. Oh, I got a scripture to back that up. Oh, look, he actually says the exact opposite. Well, Paul said the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. That's right. Look, I got a scripture. You, man, you imagine a vain thing when you think you're going to fight against this beast with with physical weapons and win. <laughs> hey, get that Ephesians 6. That's what they're doing too, man. Where's that John? When he's talking to Pontius Pilate. Oh, here it is. Look, when Pontius Pilate was talking to Yahweh Shai right before he's crucified, this is what the Lord said. Actually, where am I to start? I'm gonna start at uh, uh, Saint John, 18 and 33. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again and called Yahweh Shai and said unto him, "Art thou the King of the Jews?" Yahweh Shai answered him, "Sayest thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell it?" thee of me. Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priest have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Yahweh Shai answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then my servants would fight. Cold cut for that building that army shit. Cold cut. Yeah, cold cut. That I should not be delivered to the Jews, but now is my kingdom not from thence. So he said, my kingdom's not of this world. So how are you going to have a governing body in America? Or what are you, retarded? You got to be stupid. What your motherfuckers going to go to the UN? This shit's going to be uh, turned into a pile of ashes. That's right. Do we gotta get, should we That's get right. that in Peter's? That's right. Maybe they didn't never read Peter's before. They don't read. Yeah, they think the uh, scripture says they're going to be uh, I already got it. Remember that? Was that Joyo? Do you think that's talking about spiritual power and shit? You think that's going to be going like edges and shit? All they have to do is have somebody tell them what it is and they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna teach that shit. We got uh, 2 Peter 3 and uh, 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise yeah, and the part. elements shall melt with fervent heat. Mm. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Like we had your boy out here talking about, uh, he was gonna go up in the courthouse with a marriage certificate written in ancient Hebrew. He's gonna give that to the judge. <laughs> we down there fainting with laughter. You were talking about sipping some Kool-Aid. That's crazy. <laughs> or what are you crazy? <laughs> what did they think? Oh, I'm sovereign. I'm sure I was what there's a video on YouTube with some with some more. He, he was trying to pull that sovereign shit on a judge in a courtroom. It, it, that judge looked at him and laughed. She's like, you're sovereign? She, she said, where's your army? <laughs> you want what army? But that's where your boy uh, Peraza them. They think they gonna get an army. You ain't gonna get no army, dude. They, you all have the weakest army ever seen. And the Lord's not with you. So don't. the Lord ain't gonna send no angels to help you. He might send an angel to help to fuck you up. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That ain't, he going to do y'all, because y'all trying to, y'all be like them Israelites up in the wilderness. The, 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 uh, uh, they wanted to go take Moses' job. Like, oh, I can do a better job than Moses. <laughs> and y'all going to get swallowed up in the earth. The <laughs> earth going to open up and swallow y'all up. You know what I'm saying? It's coming. It's yeah, coming. Be a war Actually, that's too easy. Y'all going to get a worse fate than that. That's right. They probably, that's some same people in the reincarnation. Corey and them. <laughs> he 
you go. Jeremiah 18 and 19. Give heed to me, O Lord, and hearken to the voice of them that contend with me. Shall evil be recompensed for good? For they, for they have digged a pit for my soul. Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them and to turn away thy wrath from them. Therefore deliver up their children to the famine and pour out their blood by the force of the sword and let their wives be bereaved of their children and be widows and let their men be put to death. Let the young men be slain by the sword in battle. That's what's coming. Let a cry be heard from their houses when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them. That's what's coming, that, that, army, that, yeah. that troop, yep. Um, for they have digged a pit to take me and hid snares for my feet. E Esau got an army. Esau has aircraft carrier. <laughs> yeah, carrier. Do, do y'all got a nuclear submarine? <laughs> why, why do you think the Lord gave Esau a nuclear submarine? You're right. If, if the Lord wanted you to have a nuclear submarine, he'd give you one. That's right. But he didn't give it to you because this is not this is not the Lord's kingdom. The Lord's kingdom is not of this world. Yet, but Lord, you got but you got to be spiritual to understand that. Right. Yet, Lord. Thou knowest all their counsel against me to slay me. Forgive not their iniquity, neither blot out their sin from thy sight. But let them be overthrown before thee. Deal thus with them in a time of thine anger. The time of the Lord, the Lord is angry at the wicked every day, man. Go ahead, mercy. So really, I got, I got pity on you fools, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Man, it's gonna be we, we'll be shit. laughing at you, but at the same time, yep. your destruction gonna be so great. It's gonna be like, damn, like God, damn. Ooh, it's you like see a, that? It's like, damn. Shit, we gonna duck like it's damn. Like that. We, we, we're gonna be afraid because <laughs> that's an example. Oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? The Lord Jack Jack two thirds of is an example. <laughs> that's right. You know what I'm oh, saying? Because he could he could get us at any moment. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. We out here doing the work. But like, <laughs> gazing stock. I never. Yeah, we are that. gazing stock. We had a lot of people. They rolling by. They roll. It's cold as fuck. Yeah, can you imagine what it, we look like? Though? They they rolling down their windows. Yeah, like trying to like. What are they saying? <laughs> what are they saying? Hey, we out here speaking about the kingdom, and the kingdom which is not of this world. Not of this world. <coughs> this fucking army. <laughs> That's just too stand in a formation. Man, I was in the Marine Corps. You ain't gonna get me to stand in no fucking formation. I heard that. That's some Esau shit. I heard that. Trying to pull trying to treat me like I mean they just, they just the same as Esau. Trying to control people. Fuck all that shit, man. Trying to take men's freedom away from them. We but we already slaves. They trying to make them twofold slaves. God damn. You in slavery and you in captivity within a captivity. Fuck. This shit is awful. Shit is bad enough as it is out here. You trying to make it worse on people controlling motherfuckers, man. Yeah, so motherfuckers yeah Luke, all these flattering titles. When did that in Job, the book of Job, talk about them flattering titles? Stupid. I don't know where it's at off the top, but... It's Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Oh, oh, wow, that's an amazing scripture. Envy not the oppressor and choose not his ways. You're going to take on the same titles that Esau gave himself. Right. Let's keep going. In general. Let's, let's Esau build armies getting ready for World War III. They ain't getting ready for a real war. <laughs> and they over there playing. They pretending. Right. You know when you as kids you used to pretend? Do like this. <laughs> you used to play dress up. You'd be like, yeah, I'm the. You used to pretend you was playing cops and robbers and cowboys and Indians. <laughs> they, they, they in imagination land. That's what they're going to. <laughs> in imagination land. Really, it's funny, man. They a joke. And they don't know nothing. Man. And nothing. They can't go deep in the scripts. We don't talk to them. We know these people. Okay, I'll do the and part. like if Peraza came out here. I would be cool with him. He's a nice guy. Of course, right. I mean, he's, cool not, he, he's not an ass, but maybe deceitfully could be an asshole. But he, 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 he tries to be real calm, and you know he's not confrontational. He's trying to be real nice to you. And a lot of people fall for that. But hey, if he comes out here, we'll be nice to him. 
But we're still going to tell you what they're doing is wrong. You know what I mean? We're going to give them the truth. What to horror say? Them motherfuckers only serve peanut butter sandwiches. Peanut butter with no jelly? With no jelly. They got peanut butter with no jelly. Every day they just eating peanut butter, peanut butter, <laughs> peanut butter sandwiches. Peanut butter with no jelly. Motherfuckers be buying themselves. Hearing that peanut, peanut butter. That's prison food. Right, right, right. <laughs> Ain't never no um, no chocolate milk served with it with jelly. And... <laughs> right, right. Just the every same day, shit. every day. <laughs> <laughs> they 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 ain't they only eat one food group. I was cracking up when getting, he was talking about that. <laughs> getting all the food groups. <laughs> Every day the same old shit. They got no vitamin C. They all suffer from scurvy. <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter choke. They call them choke sandwich. Oh choke sandwich. Oh choke peanut sandwich. butter with nothing to wash it down. Right right. <laughs> Get stuck in your throat. <laughs> and they are boring man. There's some boring shit to listen to. I'll go ahead, bring the it video up. when they blowing Con. the horn and shit. Con. Remember that one? Con. Con. <laughs> That's just like so weird. <laughs> and it does. I'm, I'm not. No, I'm not mocking the Hebrew. Or right, right. Because you know, dudes, they try to mocking act like food. they're experts on Hebrew because they can say con. You sound retarded, man. He's like, con. 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 Well, I know, like Paraz knows his Hebrew. But a lot of, a lot they of make dudes, it, they make it unattractive, man. Yeah, they do make it unattractive. You no. Know? Like, God damn. And they'll be, yeah, the Lord gonna hold them to that too, though. Mm -hmm. That's blood on their hands. Cause, you know, cause somebody might watch that, like, man, these are some fucking weirdos right here. And then they, they be like, man, them, and then they be like, man, you seen them Israelites? Israelites are weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Lord gonna hold them accountable for that, man. For putting out that weirdo vibration. <laughs> Weird. you look bad. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But you ain't gonna make us look bad. We, we, we ain't got the spirit of a weirdo over here. We got that fire over here. Yeah, we got that fire. What's that What's that scripture? The the snow melteth? That's in... Look at this shit. Look at this go shit. Go ahead. Go ahead. I get it. I'll get it. Look at this fool. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Driving all crazy. Hit. It's amazing, man. It's amazing, man. He was swerving all over the place. He probably drunk. That's a nigga for you. I think he was trying to be cool. Ain't nothing cool about slamming to a telephone pole. Press this for, the, for the Ford is an abomination to Yahweh, but the secret is with his righteous. The curse of Yahweh is in the house, is in the house of the wicked, but he blesseth the habitation of the just. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. He giveth grace unto the lowly. Like we're lowly. Like, you know, we wear the bummy garments, and we can't afford them expensive garments. And if I could afford it, I wouldn't be buying no shit like that. You ain't going to catch me wearing that shit. Buying that shit. They got this big old belt. Look like a, the, the WWE championship belt. Look like he just won a tag come team out of, right, come Coming out, out like, hit you in the chair. You know, you know, coming out like, woo! Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> they think you look like Ric Flair. The music playing. They really shit. look like something that, yeah. you know, you know, it's like, like a SummerSlam or something. Right, right, like right. The, the, you know what I'm saying? They, they got the fight. They, they look like they about to have a wrestling match. Ain't even. Hey, that's yeah. like the I I S U P K dudes. They kind of spike. They look like the Road Warriors or Demolition. Yeah. Some Sado Masochist shit. They're coming out with spikes. They about to start whipping you. They're gonna tie you up. Stick a thing in your mouth. <laughs> they gonna start uh, torturing you. Mm. Mm. They gonna bring out the gimp. Mm. You seen them? <laughs> that was like that movie, uh, Pulp Fiction. They brought out the gimp. They gonna bring the gimp oh, out the on gimp. your ass. The gimp. <laughs> yeah, the rape. They gonna the rape. bring the gimp yeah, out the on. Gimp. You. <laughs> Man, once again, that's some weirdo shit. Damn right. We ain't on that weirdo shit out here. Last but not least, the wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. Yeah, you gotta have wisdom, man. Like the, Also, the Lord talking about that wisdom. What did the Lord say? Be wise as serpents, harmless as doves. They, oh, y'all some faggots. You afraid to fight. Y'all just some government agents telling people to be peaceful. <laughs> That's what they'll say. I've already heard it. They've already said that about us before. 
Oh, y'all CIA, FBI telling people to be non-violent. Fucking dumbasses. These people, they're gonna be ashamed. Let me see y'all go get violent. That's all these people. Let me see y'all go do something, man. Go show us how it's done. <laughs> demonstrate. <laughs> yeah. Right, demonstrate. <laughs> yeah, we need a demonstration. Yeah, lead the way. Give us a tutorial. <laughs> and make sure you put it on YouTube too. You get some live footage. Get it right. with them the GoPros, get one of them. Show us how it does. Fucking amazing. Woo! Woo! <laughs> As you do gonna come out, he gonna come out with a staff. Woo! Oh Lord have mercy. Disco Eric Israelite. He think he Moses. He think he Moses. He got a staff. That's what your boy in his mind. He really thinks somewhere in there that he is Moses in the reincarnation, and he gonna lead the Israelites through the Red Sea. I wonder if they even believe in reincarnation. They got to. I know he does. Yeah. Because. But I guarantee y'all, the burning bush never talked to you. I guarantee you that uh that you ain't got a chariot following you around. Let me see you turn your staff into a snake. Let me see that. Right. Drop your staff and turn it to a snake. Because uh, most of them, they show people that they have power and they could do that. Just to prove to them they have power from the most high. Mm. Y'all fucking, y'all are, uh, what's that word? Y'all are. Look how, I, I love that how they look at us though, man. That's funny. That's some crazy Put a wave at them. Let me look back. How you doing? Huh. Don't make eye contact with him, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a yeah, that black dude with a funny ass looking white lady. Yeah, that's a terrible. Yeah, it had to be. Look like a weirdo. Hey, but uh ISUPK and uh Peraza would accept a tear though. Hell they'll take yeah. they'll take all the tears. They I'm take you, some of them motherfuckers had to be tears. They gots to be. They I told that one dude, he was a hamite. Which one, the Haitian? The Haitian. The Haitian. I, man, he was a, I don't know, he, maybe he was an Israel. I don't know, he I had to, felt like a Hamite to me. A Hamite to me? He was climbing on him. Yeah. Man. He took a beating. <laughs> that's why I told him that day, I was like, and that's the last thing I said to him. I looked, I said, and you, you're a goddamn Hamite. <laughs> so. He took a lash. <laughs> Cause he had a real funny spirit. Yeah, Cause, yeah, cause yeah. He, he had, cause I've been around a lot of those Hamite Christians. You know, I said, I know some of them right now. And he's he like, oh, Jesus, love you, brother. Uh -huh. How you doing today? Uh -huh. He was foul. When we went up into that church, the first day we met that dude, he's like, oh, so what made you guys want to want to believe in Jesus? <laughs> but I think he might have said, yeah, I was sorry. But, but he was talking like like one of them Christian Hamites. You know, he's all happy, smiling. And that was he, around the time of the earthquake in Haiti. Because he asked us, he's like, what made y'all choose to do this? He actually said that. And when he, me and Dave both looked at him like, choose? You know what scripture we had that John? John 15, it's like, the Lord said, you didn't choose me, I chose you. You know what, what I'm saying? What made y'all choose to do this? He, that's what his exact, exact words. What made y'all choose to do this? Dudes targeting them dudes in that congregation. The only person I was really arguing with was uh, Raza, because that's the only one that put up a fight. The other dudes, they didn't really know shit. Mm -hmm. right. They've been in there for a long time. Right. That's what Dave said to Raza's son. He said, shut up. He said it right here. He's like, shut up. No, no. He didn't say shit back really? either. Yeah. Dave's shut up. Dave will no, curse no. them all out. Dave. No, no, no. And Dave know more than all them. Hell yeah. Dave know way more than them. them. Motherfuckers ain't been taught nothing, man. They ain't been taught a, a goddamn thing, but they're Israelites. They're, that's it. They think that being an Israelite is more important than the, knowing the name of your house. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm from the tribe of Judah. <laughs> Judah! <laughs> Judah! Quab <laughs> Everybody want to be a Judite, man. Yeah, everybody is a Judite. <laughs> everybody. Goddamn. Everybody's Judah. It's just 144,000 Judites. <laughs> okay, yeah, right, because, man, it's all, they on an ego trip, man. It's all everybody about, you know, they like the flattering titles. But we teach about Israel. We teach people they Israel. We teach about the different tribes. You know what I'm saying? We're not saying that's not important. But the thing is, you got people, they get puffed up. They puffed up. They, they get full of that pride. And they feel like they, they're above everybody. 
and they're better than you. We ain't coming out with that spirit. You're supposed to have that, that humble, meek spirit, that lowly spirit, like that scripture you read about the lowest room. I got a scripture though. Uh, what's I about to get? I forgot already. I think it was a mark. Uh, there was a good one, a mark. It's funny as hell. It's a good story. I was at the drive, look at this shit. Yeah, yeah. And I had this fire spot. That's cool. I'm gonna have so many scriptures in my head, huh? First Peter 5 and 5, likewise ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For the most high resistance the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of the most high, that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Devour, that's what they do, man. Whom resisteth steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same affliction are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the Most High of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by, by the anointing Yahweh Shai. Yeah, with a lot of those camps out there teaching, the teaching about Israel, you don't never hear him talk about uh, you know, that brotherly love and being humble, being meek. You know what I'm saying? Hell, they don't, come they don't never that. talk about long suffering. Mm -hmm. They don't never talk about none of the basics of the the most important things. They don't never talk about faith. You know what I'm saying? Yes. The, they don't. The, all they talk about the law. Let me, I got a scripture for. Go ahead. Actually, they put down faith. They put it down for brothers that rely on faith. Yeah, the thing, well, that's like the biggest thing in yeah, the whole what? in the whole scripture. He said, "With well, faith, you can move mountains." Yep. Yeah. What did Nasty Nate say? He said something about faith, man. That's on faith based the hell. Faith based is wrong. So it's like they, they, they might as well be out there holding up a Necronomicon. Oh my lord. You know what I'm saying? That's what <laughs> pretty much what they're teaching. Right. They should go out there with uh, Alistair Crowley books. Right. Because that's pretty much what they're teaching. They're not teaching the Bible. Go ahead. Uh, you got more to that? I, I got a scripture. Um, hold on. Let me see. Uh, um. Whom resists is steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the most high of all grace, who have called us unto eternal glory by the anointing of Yahweh Shai, that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. By Savanus, a faithful brother unto you, as I suppose I have written briefly exhorting and testifying that this is the true grace of the Most High wherein we stand. The church that is at Babylon elected together with you, saluteth you, and so doth Marcus my son. Greet you, greet ye one another with a kiss of charity. Peace be with you all that are in the anointing of Yahweh Shia man. Yeah, peace. That's what kind of spirit you're supposed to be coming in. Not no crazy ass whacked out weirdo spirit. Man, oh man. Check out, dude, I got a scripture to back up there. This scripture right here cuts Nathaniel. This cuts all these groups. They always want to talk about the law, this, the law, that. Right? Matthew 23 and, wow, 23 and 23. That's an easy one to remember. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe the mint and anise and cumin and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought you have ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Ye blind guides, what strain in the neck and swallow a camel. Wow. <laughs> oh, here go another one. God. Peep this out. That, that breaks them down perfectly, don't it? And it keeps going. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. 
for ye may clean the outside of the cup. Wait till this raggedy motherfucker goes. That motherfucker raggedy is a motherfucker. <laughs> you know that's probably a woman driving. They think that cars run on magic pixie dust. <laughs> they didn't know you gotta check fluids. Yeah, the fluids fill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like it's about to explode. Yeah, they ain't gonna make it much further. Matthew 23 and 25. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you may clean the outside of the cup and in the platter, but within they are full of extortion God. and excess. Having many, having much. Extortion, that's yeah. a key word. Yeah. Man, yeah. bottom line, they want money. Come I want you an Israelite, brother. We Israelites get together, brother. And they want to make sure you got a job. And if you don't have a job, they're going to make you feel bad because they want your money. <laughs> Thou blind Pharisee, clean first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Mm. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Well, well that goes back to all their garments. They have to wear the flyest garments. They they paid hundreds of dollars for they for their championship belts and their hats. You know, just they think they looking fly. They look retarded, actually. You paid all that money to look like a jackass. Like you said, the prescription said you said, uh, clean the clean, clean the inside of that cup. They actually think they look fly though. Yeah, yeah. So that te that tells you they got demons on them. Right. I mean, you look in the mirror and you look retarded, but you still go with it anyway. Right. You know. Yeah. And we. Follow the same.